Hello and welcome back to the Way to Native Chronicles. We're expanding our scope a little bit on the channel lately. Uh, as uh, mentioned before in previous videos, one of the things we're getting into is uh, developing a trapping uh, trap line uh, where we need a trapping cabin. And uh, the price of lumber, as you know, is really, really high. So I've got into milling my own lumber and this is something that uh, not everybody is aware of that you can do, but you can, if you get a suitable chainsaw and a milling rig, you can mill your own lumber. So in this very short video, I'm just going to, it's not going to be instructional really, but just to give you an idea of what can be done, uh, I'm going to show you how my first attempts at milling lumber. So hang in there and I'll catch you later. slab I took off of there. It's uh, one and a half inches thick. And, and it is smooth boy. Nice and smooth. Like, uh, it is very smooth. There's a couple of little wobbles there but then straightened out again. So go to the uh, log itself here. You can see like she is just dead on straight and smooth. This is using a ripping chain, steel ripping chain with a 
10 degree tooth on it, not a skip chain or anything like that. Uh, the saw is a steel, well, kind of in the shade here, but uh, you can see that's a 661. Works really nice. Don't have to really push it at all. There's another plank I took off earlier. don't have to push it all. And I'm thinking I might, I think I'll take another plank off that log. The first one I cut kind of thick because I just wanted to be on the safe side, but I could have cut that one a little thinner. I actually got more lumber out of this log. Let's see what I can do with that remaining piece. But I used that ladder for the first cut. Just with, with these two by fours nailed horizontal to the end of the log to rest the ladder on. So that's about it. Poplar by the way, it's not spruce. So it's, it's kind of a hardwood. Doesn't present any problem at all for, for that saw. Well I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Maybe it makes you think if you uh, weren't aware of the fact that you can make lumber this way. Now you do need uh, a pretty substantial saw. You're advised to, to do so anyways. Uh, the one I'm using is a steel MS661C. Uh, and uh, that's got about uh, over 90 cc's in it. They say there's no replacement for displacement and that really holds true with milling. So you can go with a lighter saw, but what you might wind up doing is gonna go through engines. Not right away, but you will. So uh, you're, if you want to do it for long haul, then you're better off to get a, a saw, at least in the 90cc class. So um, yeah, what else? You, you need to have that, that milling uh, rig that I had attached to the saw. I got one uh, for about $325. So they're not terribly expensive. I have a 36 inch chain on that saw, so um, that can handle a pretty wide tree uh, because you got to keep in mind that you don't use the full length of that chain when you're cutting. Once it's in the mill, there's got to there's some wasted space on either end. So I hope that uh, it's give you something to think about. And if you enjoyed this video, then of course subscribe and click like on it. There's also a notification bell so you don't miss anything from the channel. So from the way to Native Chronicles, I'd like to. Wish you God bless and catch you next time. Yeah, that's it.